So one, it doesn't matter who gets the Supreme Kai, do you get this? Sorry, you get this guy no matter what. Okay. All right, we need to get to that radar. Oh wow, money! As if I didn't have enough of that. Go figure, it's a thousand yen. Yep, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. I know, I'm like, I'm slowly forgetting that I keep having to say that on every part. Just welcome back. Choose your person. See what you want to do first. Whenever you have the controller, we'll just have you select your per direction first. Get the good. Get the tracks. It was either me or Goku, either way. So, so let's have. Goku move up. I think Dende is gonna pop up over here somewhere. And then Trunks. Let's meet the Kai. Do you remember? Oh, is he an enemy? I think so. Oh, he's an enemy. That's weird. Weird flex, but okay. Why is he an enemy? Do you remember when Supreme Kai came in and everybody believed he was supposed to be like a badass? Um, kind of. Like, when they introduced him, they thought, they made him seem like he was a threat to be worried about. I'm just gonna... Well, I know, like, what's he, like, introduced the Kai's, he's like, oh yeah, these are gods, and then... And then nothing and then, came of it, because they were all weaker than the Saiyans. And then Super happened, and it's like, no, there's... And they became super irrelevant. <laughs> That's true. I mean, to be fair, I think they became irrelevant roughly around the time that Super Saiyan 2 was immediately introduced. Yeah. Because Supreme Kai didn't know what the fuck to do when Gohan became a Super Saiyan for the first, or tried to blast Majin Buu's ball open. Yeah. I've never seen such power. Goku and Vegeta are crazy. And just like, well, yeah, like, why is this shocking? Aren't you supposed to be like a legendary badass? Why are you freaking out by their power? Yeah. I was just gonna let him do what he wants until he wears himself out. Because I will not die. Here you go. Ah, fuck, I didn't dodge. Motherfucker, I dodged that. Yeah, that was that was nothing. <laughs> I was like, when I have the anti-vaccine on and everything, I just stay blocking until they run themselves out, especially with the power high. Ooh. Blast attack. There we go. Now the villains start showing up. <gasps> Yay, Baba Day. Nothing we have to do yet. Deborah! The guy who was supposedly strong enough or stronger than Gohan. Supposedly. And I used that term very loosely. Oh god, we just killed a god. Beerus is dead! <laughs> oh my god, we killed the we killed Beerus! We killed the bunny. Oh and Vegeta is against us. Again. Because he's Majin, he's not Majin yet, that but he will be. I think it's in the next stage that he becomes Majin. Okay, so Ginyu's not even, or Dende's not even here. So, the trick about this one is that Cell and Freeze are going to pop up out of nowhere later on, as soon as we get to a certain point. They're going to prevent you from getting the ball. The goal on this one is to get to the ball. You can't get the Babini, by the way. No? No, you see where he's standing? Oh. There's no way to get to him. So I gotta get to that ball. The ball is the de like the end spot anyway, so even if you tried to V-line it with the second move, you would only stop at the ball. Uh -oh. So you can kill Deborah, Cell, and Frieza whenever they pop up, and that will take you to the next map. Or you get to the ball, and that will take you to the next map. Either way, it's best that we have Goten take a lot of the fighting here. Mm. As well as Goku, since we don't have... Um, Dende anymore. Okay. In fact, we're gonna see if we can try to get the Dragon Ball instead. 
which apparently is way the fuck over there. It's probably where Deborah is standing, if not the spot next to him. So we're going to move everybody over. Cool, they decided not to do anything. I'm going to have Goku take a big step backward. Trunks, take a big step backward. Goten, take a big step forward. Now Goku can join him over there. I will just protect Trunks at all costs. Yeah. <laughs> well, good, so we gotta keep going up. So Goten is the only one that I'm gonna really want to fight or let fight here. Let's fight. Or at least the most, anyway. Let's fight Uncle Vegeta. Uh, let's see if he goes after you. He probably won't move from the health training spot. Oh. And then we'll have... I will say, I am really big on music in this. <laughs> oh, the jazz funk that's going on right yeah. now? God, Trunks, if you could not get any richer, that would be... It's because of my mom. You are the 1% kind of <laughs> It's because of my mom and my grandpa. I want to try Lord Vegeta over here. Come on, Vegeta! And then we'll gang up on him. <laughs> gang oh, okay. Your choice. Do not go to Vegeta. Oh. Because he's standing on a health drain spot. You need to get him off of it. See, now... Frieza and Cell are going to pop up as Majins. God damn it. Yeah, for whatever reason, in Budokai 2, they decided to give some of the characters Majin versions of them. So there's a lot of non-canon shit happening in this game. It's kind of cool. Majin Vegeta. Everybody's a little zesty up in here. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, this is the early 2000s. So zest. <laughs> so zest. Okay, and? I always hate these little parts because these take forever. You know what I do miss, however? I do miss how the auras look when they power up. Oh, yeah. Like in Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Like that faint yellow. Mm -hmm. I miss that. I miss that too. Like what it looks like right here. Because now it just looks like energy just keeps kind of swarming around them instead of like glowing in front of them. Yeah. I miss that shit. That shit was lit, yo. Have I been brought back to life? Again? Ah, oh, shit. Freezes. Anytime now. Any oh, there we go. <laughs> what, what, what is this? They really like bringing Frieza back to life for some reason. Yep. Was Frieza one of Toriyama's favorites? I have no idea. Because the amount of love that this thing gets <laughs> is kind of ridiculous. Oh, that's right, we have a meter now. Three battles fill up the meter. Oh, this is where we got a cheat code then. It is because it takes three battles to get up to the meter. So, here's what we can do. Go ahead and select. Is since Go10 is invulnerable. <laughs> All we really need to do is let Goten just get straight to the ball. Yeah, okay. Choose Goten. So it takes three fights to get to the to get the meter to the field. Just keep going. Even if these two select to fight you, it does not matter. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, we go that way. We are gonna stay over here. Same thing with trucks. Oh, yours! Oh, oh no. <laughs> so at most, you might get two fights in here, but at, at the very least, you're going to get to the ball before anybody. So it really won't matter as long as we don't fight anybody else. Yes! But yes. before you get to the ball. Okay. Um, That's how we're going to get past this map really quickly. Yes. Fuck yeah! Get in there, Goten! God damn! This is all my pent-up aggression against Cell earlier. <laughs> he damaged me a little bit, so <laughs> he nicked away at the parts. 
scratch my pennies. You know what I mean? You pink devil, darkness looking up, motherfucker. Pink ass. devil. Yeah, because he looks like the Tim Curry devil from Legend. I didn't watch Legend. You never seen that movie? Legend? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm not huge on what Tim Curry. Tim Curry. No, wait, sorry, you said Tim Curry. I'm thinking Jim Curry. Not Jim Curry. <laughs> no, Jim. Tim Curry I enjoy. I love the fuck out of his yeah, old stuff, especially. the devil from the Bible. But I did not watch that. Oh, that was Tom Cruise's first film, too. Well, it was crazy, because I like Tim Curry. I love all the voices he used to do in the 90s. Deborah must be really perplexed right now, trying to figure out why the fuck you nothing's happening. Bobbity, this child, he won't damage. I can't kill him, Bobbity. Bobby. 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 Bobbity, he got a perfect off of me. All three of my bars went down. <laughs> That's all my hate from the last time. <laughs> oh no, hubba bubble 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 rap. Hubba bubble 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 rap. Yeah, take that fucker. Cell's coming after you. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Don't go towards me. Don't, don't go towards me. Don't go towards me. He's going to be right in the way. Okay, cool. Oh, thank the Lord. I honest. Fucker. Okay, this is good. We can run away. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no! Have some or go and go up. Up, up. up. There, there you go. Okay. Now it doesn't matter what happens here. Kill him. <laughs> no matter who I fight, you'll still be able to get to it now. Hell yeah, brother. So we're just gonna avoid him. <laughs> oh yeah. Like the plague. Good. Oh, match. Oh. Good decision. Don't go to sword. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, that hurt my Jesus. Yeah, you see why I don't do their voice often? <laughs> and Go Team wins. Yeah, baby! But Goku is gonna be the one to get it. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Watch. <laughs> yeah, I kicked that ball. It would have made more sense that they brought Goku Han's avatar into it and then did it, but. Yeah. It's the power of non canon events, Bobbity. You can't get away, hubba bubble bubble rap. I still like, I still like how Josh didn't know what canon meant. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that was during Budokai. Oh, you told I honestly forgot about that until just, you said that. Yeah, I was like, ah, like, oh, yeah. You just <laughs> didn't, you didn't know what canon meant. Can we kill him now? How, how come there's Why were they on Oh wait, that's right, they were on Earth. <laughs> Where did that bobbity creep go, that little bug-faced bitch? Like, <laughs> So Bobbity is going to make his way to the center, and that's how he's going to find Boo. Okay, so we can't do the trick here. No! So it needs to be a legitimate character. And we have the choice of Great Saiyan Man. Okay, so now that we have figured it out, is the next thing we need to do is we're going to get Hercule and Videl. Oh, that's right. In order to get either one of those characters, we actually need um, Great Saiyan Man to beat Majin Buu on this stage, Fat Buu, and then we need to have Hercule beat Buu with Gohan Absorbed in the next stage, or two stages after that, where Vegeta would be. <laughs> so that's how we're going to find them. So we're just going to give you a bunch of nonsense shit, none of this matters, except for maybe Yakon. Yakon takes away the energy of the opponent. And we'll just give you random shit until you get some moves. And then we will have Goku... Oh, there's two Dragon Balls up there on the other half of the map, by the way. So right now, Frieza and Cell are right there. Boo, or he's going to make his way to the center. So he, the catch is, I believe... We can't let Boo kill anybody in the center or something like that, otherwise he runs away. Majin Vegeta, you could take down any time. 
Cell and Frieza can both go down too, but Bobby is always going to make his way to the center to pick up Boo. Oh, okay. And right now, as you can see on the radar, there's two marks now, so they're all sitting right over here somewhere. That means they have two Dragon Balls right next to each other. So, with that said, I'm just going to do nothing. Motherfucker! He went right to you. Vegeta is very aggressive too, by the way, so... But, you have the virus on him. And you can drain his energy. So hopefully, that will be enough to get you through him. Wow, it'd be great if I had my little brother with me right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the invincible Goten would have took care of Majin and Vegeta, no problem. <laughs> Oh, the music. Yeah, see, his energy is draining fast because we have the Yakon on. If you guys remember Yakon, he was that green ugly thing that was in Babidi's ship that Goku blew up. That would drain energy by eating people or sucking it away harder than anybody else. And then they would come out and not be able to big bang him. Oh, there we go. Iron Fist! What am I, a Shaolin monk? Do I look like Luke Cage? Uh. What? I hate him! It was that one loading hit that That's he did. so dumb. I did it though. But you took him off for the healing factor, so... I'm so happy. I, I beat you. Saving grace for that. Which is good, because we need Goku to beat everybody else. See, Bobbity's already making a beeline to the spot right now. I'll heal a great Saiyan man. By the way, Majin Buu is super aggressive on the stage. God damn it! He came back. What? Well, you're like right there, so they're all coming after you. So Cell's probably gonna come after you too when it's his turn. Oh, God. Revenge! I'm Maria. I promised you. <laughs> Revenge! I'm looking forward to Sonic Avenger. Or Sonic the Hedgehog 3. That was another thing that Akira Toriyama influenced was Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, that's right. Super Sonic and the fact that there are seven emeralds are all an influence from Dragon Ball Z. And why Shadow is basically the Vegeta of Sonic the Hedgehog. God damn, man. Yeah. You know, it's weird that you've had this more times than I have. <laughs> Considering I, how much I actually use this move. Yep. Akira Toriyama inspired me to draw Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z like characters. Damn, beat him already and make homemade comics with my best friend in elementary school that I ended up taking into middle school and high school. In fact, he's the character you're going to see on the disclaimer the saying that this is respect for um, Akira Toriyama. The character I drew for that is... God damn it. Just knock him off of this part. Yeah, the character I drew for that is my inspiration from Akira Toriyama. Yeah! Old man Circle Turtle. By the way, pressing B will get you up faster. And if you get knocked to the ground, before you hit the ground, press B and you'll get up quickly. Nice. Just block. Let himself drain. Or you can beat him up. Yeah, every character here is going to struggle to get any power because they have Yakon on right now. <laughs> so they can't gain any more power. Thank God. Not fast enough anyway. Plus the AI does not know what to do with that. <laughs> like, what the fuck do I do? What happened? What happened? What do I do? What happened? Thank you. I was thinking about that. Let's get you off of there and have Goku stand there instead. 
Boing, boing, boing. Of course, they have to be occupied by cartoony sounds. Oh, yeah, I mean. Oh my god. It's fine. Oh my god. I can't even do the Jotaro fucking like, thing. You won't get away from me, Goku. Now, come quietly and die. Now, come! <laughs> sure, no, so. The fight between us has already been decided. It's clear I can't beat you. My son can. Both of them, apparently. <laughs> See, that would have been interesting if they were still alive or got resurrected and were Majin people, but... You know, for the Super Tournament, I wish it was Cell that That's came back I wanted and not too. Frieza. I agree. I full-heartedly agree. Like, the dude who can regenerate and use everybody's moves kind of seems like a strategic bonus. Because there were, there were theories back then if, like... If he was gonna get resurrected, he would have a form, and he would have been silver, and trees would be gold. But... Well, I mean, considering that every goddamn Saiyan in this show gets a super special form out of nowhere just because they're Saiyans, I was like, Cell has their DNA. Like, this is a bonus time for him. Plus, he gets stronger after every loss, and he can't die. Well, not unless you obliterate the fuck out of him. Yeah. Like, again, Cell seems like an absolute strategic bonus. And by all accounts, they should have used him instead of Frieza. So Frieza seems like kind of a setback, considering how often this bitch wants to kill the hell out of everybody. Yeah. So, come on, guys. This was a smart move, and you blew it. All you had to do was have Cell come back. He can use everybody's moves. He regenerates and gets stronger after every near-death experience. He was already proven to be stronger than Frieza to begin with. I don't know. And the only argument that everybody can really validate at this point... Oh, here he goes. He's got Boo now. The only argument that he can really validate at this point is that... Frieza came back during Resurrection F and has a stronger form. And we don't know if Cell had a stronger form. Oh, yeah. That's their only real argument. I mean, Frieza is kinda a crowd favorite, but I don't even like him that much. Today, I would be your new master, Bobby. Bobby, why did we come here if the ball was on Earth? At another place. Because he wants chewing gum. Oh, not the voice. What? What do you want? I missed this part in the actual episode. Yeah. Ooh, Boo straight up just Yo. punches his fucking head off. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, he grabs him by the neck and just with one punch is like, he snaps his neck and then punches it off. Yep. No, wait. He punched his head to bits and then he blew up the body. Yep. Oh, Frieza. Vegeta's on her side now. No! It's all on you right now. He sounds like an old man having a seizure. Oh, 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 I'm dying. Oh no, I got dead. How'd you get got? Don't be free then. <laughs> Don't be free. Shit, Vegeta's not on our side. No, he's so evil. Damn it, man. All of you stay the fuck away. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, that's Well, alright then. I guess I feared for nothing. I guess it was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. I'll have you over here. Goku is going to be playing the backup. We could take down Vegeta if we want. We have to beat Boo before he runs away. That is the catch. We can beat literally everybody else here, but we have to beat Boo before he runs away. Oh. Um, you know what? I'm gonna join you. Schmidt! Dan, hold up! We will see you guys on the next part.